Hi everyone, welcome to Ansible Tower Learning Series 1 and 2 continuous. This is the fifth video on Ansible Tower Learning Series. In this video, we will see how to trigger webhook notification from GitLab to Ansible Tower for triggering job templates. In the previous Ansible Tower videos, we have seen how to create templates, credentials, projects, how to add a project from the local GitLab setup. Then how to commit code from github desktop and how to add playlist from pycharm and whenever we make some changes here you can commit those changes using github desktop and it will get reflected here and then the same playbook can be added into the templates for example here we have a template called 05 cisco interfaces which is having playbook 05 ios config and we can see the same playbook here we will open and see that in the gitlab setup we will make some configuration changes here i will update this configuration to 2.3 Now my GitHub desktop is detecting that change and I can commit those changes. Now if I refresh the GitLab setup, this got updated and now if I try running this template again and let us log into the device as well. Now there is no IP address in the interface. Now this is trying to configure the device R2. And if you see the playbook first this is configuring the interface IP address for gigabit one and then it is assigning description to two interfaces 02 and 03. Now we will verify the config. Now one is having 2.3 IP and two and three are having same description what we added in the playbook. That means the changes what I'm doing in my PyCharm is getting reflected once I commit using GitHub desktop. Now we'll see how to update this automatically using webhook trigger. You can see the description here. Webhook enable you to send notification to web application. So this is where we need to give the web application URL and we can give the secret token and there are multiple events can be configured so any of these event occurs it can trigger a webhook request to a webhook notification to the respective server in our case we are going to trigger this to the job templates in ansible tower but one thing you need to be aware is all these webhooks it is not specific to file here we have one branch any changes happens to this particular branch it will trigger a notification to the template now we'll create a new template here similar to this we'll call that as 05 interface webhook and job type run we'll select the inventory project will select my local gitlab 
playbook the same playbook Cisco credentials all these I have explained in the previous video I'll add that also in the description verbosity normal and here we will give webhook and we need to select the webhook service here so we will give gitlab and save it once we save it we can see the url so this url has to be added to our gitlab so this is the url of our ansible tower you can see the ip address and this is going to trigger webhook to this particular template the template number is 22 the new template what we created and this is the key for sending the webhook trigger so we'll copy this put it in the url and here we can configure multiple events so i will make it as push event so any comment happens to this particular branch it will trigger a webhook notification to the template and template will automatically get triggered in that way you don't have to manually come and execute the template it can automatically trigger for example if you are making some configuration changes to this file or any other file in the playbook it can trigger this specific template automatically let me save it and here if you are having a valid SSL certificate to in the Ansible tower you can enable SSL verification otherwise you can remove it I have saved a webhook now let us see our jobs here the last run job is 178 now we will just test this webhook so I will just manually trigger a push event so here I am getting a message saying that hook executed 202 now you can see here so it automatically updated the ACM because for the that project we have given automatic update whenever we trigger the template and this is triggering the job and now this is configuring the device now if you want to see the webhook details Can click on the particular job and here this gives all the details about webhook which user initiated it which was a playbook and all the other details you can see the gitlab details and the files now here inside gitlab You can click on edit and here you can see the details this I manually updated now we will see any push event we will create a push event and then we will monitor the change now device IP is 2.3 we will change this to 2.2 so in PyCharm, I will go and edit this IP address to 2.2 and from github desktop I just detected the change now I can commit it from here I am pushing to the github gitlab application and here we will see what is happening 
you can see here it automatically triggered a job and here in GitLab we can verify the IP address it is 2.2 and you can see the details this changed just now and here the IP address change you can see the status has changed and the commands we can see here in the module details let us verify in the device now it is able to automatically detect the changes in the particular repository but here not only this file if I make changes to any other file this will trigger this particular template that you need to be careful so let me just make changes to 101 I'll add one more zero here though it is not same file it will trigger a template and here inside webhook we can see all the triggers so here you will be able to see the file which got updated the modified file and time it triggered and all the other details and here also you can see the same details and in the next trigger we have updated 01 let us verify that as well Sorry, that was a different trigger this is the latest trigger so we'll verify that so here we can see it is 01 ios facts file got updated i hope this video was helpful for you to understand how to trigger a webhook from gitlab to ansible tower for triggering a particular job template in the next video we'll see how to use GitLab Runner in Ansible Tower, how to install GitLab Runner in Ansible Tower and trigger a job using CI/CD pipeline in GitHub Desktop to Ansible Tower. So we'll see all those details in the next video. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.